YouTube? This your girl Kanisha again back with another video. So today I will be trying to go more for, I will be doing a makeup um, routine slash tutorial. And I'll be trying to go more for like a girl's girl next door look. So right now I'm going to go in. I just got this an old little beat up pencil, but I had killed. But I normally like these little brushes that come with the pencil. So first I'm going to just kind of brush my eyebrows. Just kind of brushing the eyebrows um, first. And then I'm going to go in with my um, eyeliner. And it looked like that. Hold on. Yeah. And I'm just going to kind of outline the form of how I want my eyebrows to go. So, lady, I've been watching a lot of um, you, you, um, tutorials uh, on how I like to do the eyebrows. I've been trying to learn how to make, like, this part. Like, I don't know. I can't really explain. But I know this, like, I'm going to have to probably go back and do it because it's still showing, like, my regular routine of how I do them. Where it looked up in here, they, it started off lighter. Like, I was looking at a um, makeup artist. And look like she'll just draw like some little lines up to make it look like hairs. But for some reason, I can't really, which I'm still learning how to do. Um, mine still, for some reason, coming out like if I was just pencil the whole brow in. But I'm, um, I still got to continue to keep watching the, the tutorial. See, it's still kind of showing how, um, yeah, because she normally, when she started off doing the, the the corner of the brow before she started filling it in. She'll start out drawing like some little lines, make it look like if it was really the really, really the natural eyebrow hairs. But um, I'm going to keep watching so I learn. I'm always about um, learning every day. I like to I say practice make perfect. So, And also, I did record the two videos today. I just dropped my Cook With Me video. I had made taco soup. So if you see me in pink in that video, you'll know that I, because uh, I do have pink on in this, I end, up make, I end up recording two videos today. So, yeah, check that video out. The soup came out really good. It was my second time making taco soup. I love taco soup. But, yeah, um, let me see. So next, I'm going to go in with my, um, this is my concealer. I had bought this from Walgreens. I think it was like $3 or something. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to just put a little up there. A little right here. A little of it right there. And a little bit right here. And I'm gonna go in with my brush. I mean, my um, makeup pad. I need to try to invest in one of them little makeup, little um, egg. I, I don't know what they call it. I see a lot of makeup artists use them and they, they blend in real good. I'm gonna try to get one of those next. Because this right here is barely, like I say, it get the job done to the way I want it, but it's barely, barely hanging in there. So I got to try to give me a couple of those or not get some makeup brushes. Well, more makeup brushes, I'm sorry. So basically, I'm just going in, blending this in. And I have felt so in love ever since I've been using this concealer. I actually, and I might, I'm going to drop that, um... I'm going to update you out on my makeup look for work. I came up with a second um, simple makeup routine for going to work. I'm going to drop that video soon. I've kind of been a, a bit a fan of uh, concealer. I've just been strictly using this concealer. 
Cause I'm I'm got pretty low on my foundation. You all know when I was telling you all about the foundation I've been using. I think I'm actually getting pretty low on it, so I gotta get some more. But it's like the concealer been my best friend lately. So I'm just going in. Like that. Okay. And so I'm going to show you all what I've been doing because um, I, I need to get another concealer. I just found out. I was looking at a, one of my favorite YouTubers. She used like, I think she's like my complexion. She normally go in. It's like a, a lighter tone concealer. It's almost like this foundation palette. Almost this color. I don't know what the number is, but I'm going to try that because I need to get another one of those. That color that I just put on my face is like a cocoa. It's almost similar to the color. Well, it actually is my skin tone color. It's similar to the um, that liquid foundation I be using by Fit. So basically, I'm going to show you all this. I've just been taking this and putting it on the little pad. And I've been trying to add like some highlight to, to, to the makeup. So uh, i just basically kind of been going in adding a little highlight up in here. So it's probably kind of hard for you to tell because like I say, my lighting is really bright. But it's uh, it been working for me. So I'm just going in. It's like basically I've been using this trying to con trying to contour or I don't know what they call it, what's the name for. I've been trying to add like highlight to it. Since I only just got one um, concealer, that's one color. That might be kind of hard for you all to see. And then, like I say, I got to get another uh, makeup blender. I'm going to say makeup blender. Okay, I'm going to pull this down. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm finished with that. So next, let's see. Okay, next, I think I want to go in. We're going to, my look, I shall apply these the colors. If I highlight, I think I'm going to go in with this color right here.
you know, a little of the somehow a little of the um eyeshadow I used was had failed on my face from my ass. So I'm just taking the toilet paper and just kind of removing that excess. Shoot, to be honest, I'm kind of getting better and better with the brows. It's just probably hard for you all to see if you all can see, like, because normally I would have darkened this in, uh, like, dark, like, it's, I tried to make the little hairs, and then I went back with the brush and just kind of blended it in. So it's like it's getting, a, I'm getting a little better at it. I'm sorry. Ugh. So I like it doing again. I gotta go right back over it with the um another piece of paper, toilet paper. Might have to go back, put a little more concealer right there. I'm just end up putting a little concealer and I'm about to blend it in. So you just see me put a little concealer up in there. Up in, I mean, up underneath my eye. And I'm just about to blend it in. Okay, so I'm going to take, let me see, I think I want to do something a little different. I'm going to take my pencil, I'm going to see can I try to make a dry wing, because this will be a look without, with no, um, I won't be using no strip lashes for this look even. Um, you all know I'm, you know, trying to let my natural lashes air out from the glue. So I won't be using no false lashes.
I tried to draw. And it's probably hard to tell because I'm actually just not a black pencil for me doing the, the um. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try to use a little, go in with the little um, mascara. Okay, this is my the lashes, you all. And they have grown a lot too since I've been not wearing them false lashes. Yeah, these my natural lashes. Yeah, ever since I, I think it's been like going down a couple of weeks since I haven't wore false lashes. So, yeah, that's how they look. Okay. I think I want to go in before I put my lip gloss and lipstick in. Let me see some. This kind of more like I was trying to go up underneath the under my eyelids with a little makeup. This was let me see. A little more like a Barbie doll. Hold on.
you I probably can't see it too well, but it's I was trying to You know what I don't like that. I'm just gonna go in. I'm just keeping just keep it simple. I'm just about to go back in again and remove that that make that just put some, go back in with some more concealer. I ain't gonna worry about trying to go up underneath the way, but I keep the wing though. I don't want it to look too I don't like I don't like it the way that's coming out. Clean that back up. So I'm just gonna go with this little look like this, and then I'm gonna finish it off with the lip gloss because I don't like how it, it came out. I think I need a smaller brush for that look. I seen a a make a YouTuber because I you all know I watch a lot of makeup videos on YouTube, and they took but see they had the small brush to go like to go under the crease with a little makeup, and that just that just didn't look right. So. But I do have the wing. If you all see, you all see the colors. Like I tried to draw the wing right here. So it's to me, it's giving me girl next door vibes. And then of course I'm gonna finish it off with my uh, pink lipstick. So first I'm gonna go in with my pink lip gloss. Then I'm going to go in with the lipstick. Okay, it's giving girl, it's giving girl next door a little kind of like a Barbie, like a Barbie doll. Then they got the little pink hair band also. Um, I got my little clamp on the side. So, so that's how it goes. It's just hard for you all to see the wing. I'm going to have to get a black pencil if I decide to start doing uh, wings. I'm thinking about it. I'm, I wouldn't mind doing the wing um, in my everyday makeup routine. But, yeah, I tried to do the wing. It's kind of hard to tell because it's brown. But, yeah, you all, that completes my uh, makeup routine. Um, I, like I said, I was going for a girl next door look. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. So if you do like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, next time, mwah, love you all.